Hello friends, welcome to Civil Engineering Exam. Today we are going to see the problem related with uh, construction project management in the topic of PERT, that is Program Evaluation Review Techniques. So the problem is uh, the activity and uh, optimistic time most likely and pessimistic times are given. So uh, the corresponding activity 1.2, TO is 6, TM is uh, 9, TP is 12. So likewise uh, the activities and the corresponding TO, TM, TP is given. Okay, so we have to find out the critical path then EST, EFT, LST, LFT that is early start time, early finish time, latest start time, latest finish time, then total float. Okay, so now the duration EST, EFT, LST, LFT, then total float. So we have to find out all those things. So first thing is we have to find out the duration. After that we have to uh, draw the network path. Then find out the critical path. After that we can find out the all those things. Okay. So now uh, we can find the duration using the formula. That is uh, T E time expected equal to T O plus 4 T M plus T P divided by 6. Okay. So this is a formula we can use for find out the expected time uh, using uh, uh, T O T M T P. Okay, so now we can take it as an example on 1 to 2 activity. So TO is 6 plus 4 into TM is 9 plus TP is 12 divided by 6. Okay, solving this we got the value of T expected equal to 9. Okay, so likewise we can calculate all the uh, for all the activities. So now uh, the for first activity the duration is 9. Then second activity duration is 5. So then third activity duration is 6 then next one is also 6 so we can take it as example 3 to 4 that is 4 plus 6 into 4 plus 8 divided by 6 okay so we can solve this we, uh, we got the value of 6 okay so likewise we can put 6 so then 3 to 5 activity the duration is 2 then 2 to 6 the duration is 6, 4 to 6 the duration is 9, so then 5 to 6 the duration is 2. Okay, so using this duration we can uh, draw the network path, okay, network diagram. So network diagram 1 to 2, so now this is 1, 2, 2, okay, so 1 to 2 the duration is 6, okay, sorry, duration is 9. So next thing is 1 to 3. Okay, or you can draw like this, 1, 2, 3, the duration is 5. So next thing is 2 to 4 activity, 2 to 4, the duration is 6. Okay, so next thing is uh, 3 to 4, 3 to 4, the duration is 6. Okay, next thing is uh, 3 to 5. can draw 3 to 5 so the 3 to 5 duration is 2 so next thing is 2 to 6 so 2 to 6 the duration is 6 so next thing is 4 to 6 the duration is 9 4 to 6 the duration is 9 so then 5 to 6 duration is 2 okay so this is the network uh, diagram so after that we can find out the uh, critical path so now the uh, path 1 2 6 okay so this is one path so another path 1 2 4 6 1 2 4 6 1 2 4 6 then 1 3 4 6 1 3 4 6 next thing is 1 3 5 6 1 3 5 6 so now we can write the corresponding duration. So that is 9 plus 6. Then 1 to 2 is 9 plus 6 plus 9. So then 1, 1, 3, 6. Sorry, 1, 3, 4, 6. Okay, 1, 3, 4, 6. That is 5 plus 6 plus 9. So then next thing is 5 plus 2 plus 2. Okay. So now the 15 is the answer. So here is uh, 24 is the answer 
next thing is uh, here 15 20 so then uh, this is 9 so the path having the maximum duration is a critical path so now 24 is the maximum value over here so the 1 2 uh, 4 6 is the critical path so now we can draw double line 1 2 4 6 okay so this is the critical path okay so now we can find out the est eft lst lft then total float okay so now we can draw like this so here we can take this is est here eft here lst here lft okay so now uh, another thing is so whenever uh, we go this direction we can take the maximum value so whenever uh, come this direction we take the minimum value okay so now uh, we can put plus simple all over here in every activity we can put the plus simple okay so now we can take the 0 so 0 plus 9 so the duration is 9 so we can put 9 over here so the this is EFT of uh, 1 to 2 activity so now we can put 9 and here 9 okay so now 9 plus 6 is 15 so here also 9 plus uh, 6 is 15 okay so next thing is here we can take uh, 0 here is 5 okay so now for this activity we can take put 5 over here so here also 5 so 5 plus 6 is 11 so now we can uh, take uh, the 15 and 11 is there okay so the previous activity EFT so 15 and 11 is there so now we, uh, we go this direction so we can take the maximum duration so now we can take 15 so 15 plus 9 is 24 so here we can take uh, 5 5 plus 2 is uh, 7 so now here we can take 7 7 plus 2 is 9 okay so uh, we can uh, find out all the EST and EFT values okay so now we can find out the LFT and the LST values so now we can put 24 over here so here also 24 here also 24 okay so this is a maximum value so 24 minus 9 is 15 so here 24 minus 2 is 22 so now we can put 22 over here 22 minus uh, uh, 2 is 20 so here 24 minus uh, 6 is 18 so here also we can put 20, 15 here also 15 okay so we can take the 15 value so 15 minus 6 is 9 here 15 minus 6 is 9 okay so now we can take uh, here we can take the two values so the 18 and 9 is there so when uh, we go this direction the minimum value we have to take so the 18 and 9 is there so 9 is the minimum value we can put 9 over here so 9 minus 9 is 0 so here we can take the 9 uh, 9 here is 20 so we can we have to find out the minimum value so now uh, we can take the 9 so 9 minus 5 equal to 4 okay so likewise we can find out the EST EFT LST LFT values so now we can uh, write the all the values over here so 1 to 2 is uh, so 0 is EST then EFT is 9 so on here also LST is 0 then LFT is 9 so likewise we can take 1 2 3 so 1 2 3 the EST is 0 and EFT is 5 so then LST is 4 then LFT is 9 okay now we can write all the all the values over here in the table so after that we can find out the total float so now the total float formula is lst minus est so lst of the corresponding activity and minus est of corresponding activity so now 0 minus 0 is 0 4 minus 0 is 4 so the 9 minus 9 is 0 so 9 minus 5 is 4 so then 20 minus 5 is 15 then 18 minus 9 is 9 so then 15 minus 15 is 0 so 22 minus 7 is 15 okay so these are all the total float so this is the method we can solve the per problem again we will see next video thank you